someone gets on your nerves, someone cuts you off in traffic, someone disrespects you, someone stops this natural flow that you're in and you are triggered. What do you do about it? Today I want to give you some tips and some things to consider whenever you're feeling triggered. There are things that bother you. There are things that get under your skin that may not necessarily bother me or get under my skin. And for whatever reason, you have these triggers. A lot of this comes from your upbringing. A lot of this comes from the things that you desire that you're not able to achieve. So first of all, recognize what gets you upset. Recognize what gets you angry. You don't necessarily have to share this with people, but just recognize that and let that be the first step to managing you being triggered. The second thing, recognize your power over your triggers. You are not your emotions. You are not the things that tick you off. For whatever reason, these things are affecting your life, but you are not those things. You have the ability to manage your emotions. You have the ability to manage your triggers. You are not your mind and you are not your emotions. And just because something gets under your skin does not mean you have to have an emotional response to that thing. You do need to address it. It does need to be addressed, but you can harness this thing and harness your emotional energy towards these things to serve your overall well-being. So recognize your triggers, but also recognize that you have the power to overcome your triggers. Lastly, remember the four agreements. The four agreements are these. Don't take anything personally. Always be impeccable with your word. Don't make any assumptions. Always do your best. Everything people do uh, have nothing to do with you. You may say something and they may respond, but people can always decide how they respond. People always decide what they say and what they do. And a lot of that has nothing to do with you. So you got to remember that. You got to try to do your best in responding and managing yourself. You have to use your words wisely because your words have power. Even the words that you're saying to yourself, even the words that you're saying in your mind. And you can't assume that you know the intentions of people. People may say something to you that trigger you or do something that triggers you and they may not be doing it intentionally. Maybe they're doing it unconsciously. And the next time you're triggered, I hope that you can remember that you don't have to be carried away by that trigger, but you can harness that trigger and use that trigger to help you grow and to be stronger and to be more healthy.